both hands look good. I think we yeah, got. Yeah, see lands and spells in both. Yeah, lands and spells. Definitely have a good balanced amount. Turn one, Port Town tapped. No need to reveal. Do we have a Spire Bluff Canal in next hand? Uh, not sure. I see a lot of mountains. He okay. may be missing blue mana, actually, now that you point that out. Uh, that's, that's let's see tough. if he's running Aether Hubs. He is. I think he might have an Aether Hub in his hand. Okay. So yeah. we'll have at least one turn with blue mana. Yeah, we, we need the red spells early. We don't need them all oh, Okay, that so we're going to with trigger on the stack for Rattle Chains. Lightning Exit, pitching a mountain. I like the mountain pitch. We've got a few more lands in hand. Yeah, it looks I think like you're right. It looks like an Aether Hub. It looks hub like an Aether Hub. Uh, Aether Hub is not totally free here, though, especially if he continues to draw blue spells. Because yeah. we'll just have the one activation. Harness Lightning could uh, rebuff his. Yeah, Harness Lightning I think is really great against any of the smaller creatures. We yeah, if you use bank a the energy. Bit of mana. I've, I've liked that it turns or your little bit of back energy, on. Yeah. It's great. I, I, I never thought I would like energy okay, as much know. as I did. But it felt like more of a limited mechanic. But now yeah, that some the of these more, decks are coming around. Yeah, the more that we see it and the more that we see that it adds another level of play to games yeah. the more I like it. Looks like we got a and step anticipate. Two, three lands. Probably just take an island because we have a plans in hand. Not much we can do about that. But yeah, if he can follow up with a Gideon here, you know, a big play. Yeah. That'll, that'll really put a lot great. of pressure on Nicholas. That's one of the cards that's very tough for them to deal with. I don't think we have it. No, his hand a spell color weird. in hand, which is weird. I don't know if we drew that. He must have just drawn that if he didn't want to counter the Dynavolt, I would think. Yeah, I would definitely snap, get rid of the Dynavolt Tower, not let that resolve. It seems Especially like... because it represents a way to just kill your caller later on in the game. Yeah. So here comes a voice, generate some energy. And we're pitching yeah, yeah, another excess card. land. Dynavolt Tower gets us energy. It's like Mitch is going to... Elect not to spell color that, which is interesting. Drew That's a good one to spell color too, yeah. because they have to pitch the card. Yeah, wandering funeral is great. Yep. Now his blue man will be online for the rest of the game, and he did have a spire buff now, but uh, maybe he drew that as well. It's possible. Looks like we have fiery temper and Chandra and one blue card in hand. I'm not quite sure what that last blue card is. Just passes back from Mitchell, uh, maybe representing an Avacyn here. He's definitely got an Avacyn in his hands. Okay, I mean, that does represent some good pressure. Yeah. Nicholas has a Bedlam Reveler if his graveyard continues to get stopped. Be able to refill Will later they have, on. What, two spells in graveyard? Right now, just two, but. Uh, yeah. Okay. This is not a great place for Nicholas to be. Yeah. A Vigilant 4 4 is something Lightning Bolts tend to not be able to kill. Yeah, he does have access to uh, Lightning Axe. He did already use one, though, so we'll yeah. see if. Uh, I don't know if our hand is equipped to be able to beat something like this. I guess if we temper it and then activate tower while the indestructible triggers on the stack. Yeah, it looks like he's at least going to take the hit here, but he will have a, a pseudo two-for-one answer. Yeah. Uh, using the free energy. I'm just not one to let my opponent untap with something like this. Vigilance. Keep that untap. Well, there's probably not much blocking to be done, done yeah. here. Yep, he, he got it. Okay. Ooh, one mana. Two mana. Harness Lightning? Okay. Here we go, Harness Lightning. This is going to get Queller. We see him reaching for it. So, the way this works, uh, Nicholas is already reaching for the energy. Yeah, so you don't... He's just not going to... The energy's not going to change here. It's no. actually... He's going to still get an extra two from the Dynavolt. Yeah. On the cast trigger. Okay, they're just working that out with the Judge, but that is how that's going to work. I believe the card says when you cast it. Yes. Yeah. So when you cast an insert or sorcery, you get two energy. So this is not a great place for Nick to be. Well, Nick has the fiery temper next turn to take care of the Queller, and then he can yeah. cast the harness lightning. But uh, it looks like he's going to use the Oh, tower. he can just use the tower. It's five. Yeah. I forgot. It's not six. Yeah, but the issue with it is harness lightning is going to come off, and we're only going to have three energy. energy. Yeah. He might just bank three here. Yeah. I, oh no, we because he five. triggers. Okay. He triggers. See, oh, okay. we're missing so we get all the five. Yep. Yeah. Get all the five. Go to one. Take care of the Avison. Okay, th 
you know, I really do like that little combination in this deck, then. Yeah, that, I missed that phenomenal. at first as well. So our our uh, lightning bolt has turned into a lightning axe for two mana. Yeah. It's a nice interaction there. And now Mitchell just passes back, so... Yeah, and we banked We're an really energy off at, of that, which is great. Yeah, back at we parody. added two spells to the gra Or one yeah. spell? We added this a spell Bedlam to the graveyard. is going to be really, really yeah. great. So I think we, we can cast Bedlam Railroad this turn, actually. He might get greedy and want to cast that Fiery Temper, deal three. Um, well... What we can do is we can cast the Bedlam Reveler and add, with the, the tr discard trigger, yeah, that's a, that's a fiery nice trick. temper their face, because we have exactly enough mana to be able to do that. That's a super nice trick, but it looks like he's just going to go face with it. Yeah, he's Save the mana so we can add the End step, trigger him, get two energy, put another card When your opponent here. goes end step three mana bolt you, you can't have a good feeling about that when you're at 20. Probably. Though that not. is what the deck does. Maybe, maybe your feeling is great. Do we have a second Bedlam Reveler in hand? He that's might have two, bads. yeah. That's got to be the ultimate feel bad. We have four spells here, so this would cost four mana. Yep, looks like he's going to do that. We're going to go for a Reveler. And let's see what the two cards he has to pitch are. Let's see if he gets see if any this value. Resolves off of first. It. Mitchell does not look happy about this. Yeah, can't but I don't quote, think he can do anything can't about it. Can't quote that one, even though he's only paying four mana for yeah. it. We still have, what, the, the Miser scattered to the wind in the board? Or the rebuff? Rebuff came. I know that. I, I think Mitchell has a declaration in stone. I didn't see what we got to a, pitch. It was another it was a reveler rebuff and, a, and reveler. a reveler. Okay. Yeah, that's the feel bad. So I think when you're playing something like a reveler. Yeah, you don't want to draw that second one. Until yeah, you, once you draw the second one, like it's just not going to be able to come down in time for you to be able to cast both of them. Yep. So it's the ultimate feel bads, but. All right, so we got a deck in stone on the Bedlam Reveler. This is fine. Like, yeah, we just drew just draw three cards, card. now we get to draw a fourth one. Yeah, that card's almost there just to bridge the gap. I don't think yeah. it's almost ever the win con. Yep, we're just going to crack that clue. End of turn. But yeah, I think Nicholas is uh, you know heavily favored here from this point. Yeah, With, I, uh, I agree. Mitchell back down to one card. It's like we have Cathartic Reunion. Oh, another He's got Bedlam another Reveler. Bedlam Reveler. He's... He is deep on the... Okay, he's up to three Revelers. Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely casting Reunion right here. Looks like we drew an extra land. It's not something I'm excited about keeping, so I'm discarding land. And it looks like Rebuff? Uh, I think or, that's oh, a take, take inventory. inventory. Okay. Limited All-Star. I might have cast the take inventory. Yeah. Looks like we're just taking care of all the creatures and... Yeah. You know, this is a really nice spot for Nicholas. Just all of his spells, incidentally. I think we have two mana Bedlam Railers now. Because we just yeah. put Take Inventory The thing is, his hand is so good, you don't even want to cast it right now. Yeah. Maybe the issue. But he will... Uh, let's see what this nah, is. he's definitely not casting that. No, nope, another, oh, another reunion. reunion. Okay. So we definitely have three Bedlam Railers now. It's oh, like yeah, absolutely. Spire Bluff and Lightning Axe. Okay. One, two... Galvanic, so another, another Dynavolt. Tower. Yep. And they are not legendary, so you can have two out of a time. That That's four insane. energy per spell. That's insane. The field bads in the Spire Bluff Canal. Not being able to cast our second Dynavolt Tower. Yep. Anticipate. Main, main phase, anticipate. Finds a spell color. Rebuff and land. Yeah, so we're just taking the spell color. Yeah, but on this board, that 2 3 body is really not very imposing. Yeah. But, like, the rebuff does absolutely nothing for us now. Maybe catches a miser spell at the end of, you know, yeah. a slew of spells that are going to defeat the you anyway. The downside of it not countering artifacts either is huge, when that maybe yep. is potentially the most impactful card out of Nicholas's deck. Yeah. Looks like and we looks drew like you finally a thing, the thing in the ice. Away, So that'll be the end game here. Yep. Second Dynamo Tower I like. Yep, all right, so we're going to quell that, but I would imagine it's not long for this world. I can almost guarantee it's not long for this world. You know, I, I hadn't given Nicholas's deck uh, really much merit before this, but it, I, a couple Pro Tour teams did play it, and it looks like it's kind of a blast to play. This it looks like he's having... Yeah, like, we're, we're kind of owing to the uh, the blue-white flash decks from times past. Mm -hmm. Naturally, their, their two and four mana spells were a bit better than ours. Yeah. Snapcaster, Mage, Restoration Angel, and Augur Balls. For sure. But... We, we've got a, a few of our own that are pretty good. Alright, so Harness Lightning. It's going to generate us 
couple energy a trigger. Five total extra energy. Get back this Dynavolt. Yeah, this is just... Uh, we're all, How long Mitchell right can, can grasp at Strahl's here? I, yeah. I can't see him being able to get out of this. Uh, does I, he even I have agree. quarantine fields or anything to get rid no. of those? No, no. He's His, uh, his deck is way more... Uh, geared towards beating the creature decks. So, yeah. beating a deck that basically the creatures are incidental win conditions. We absolutely need our fragmentizes, and we're not really getting them. Oh, he does have a planar outburst. Interesting to have left that in. Or yeah. Left that in, but I think it's only a few copies in the main board of planar outburst. Maybe not even no, any. Not, yeah, he brought it out of the sideboard. That's really interesting. Three copies in the sideboard? Alright, so we're going to bombard that. We're getting four energy now. Trigger off the thing in the ice. And now we're off to the races here. Just probably the bolts are going to start going off, you know, going upstairs pretty pretty soon. Absolutely. Especially, Especially here comes the, the two flipping. man of Bedlam Reveler. Yeah. The old uh, bounce the Bedlam Reveler back to your hand with thing in the ice so that you can. Dr no, do you it all. can't. Is it a horror? I believe it's a horror. It may be a horror. I could be wrong. You were right. It is a horror. Okay. Uh, I take that back. Yeah. But I guess leaving a threat on the board isn't bad either. Yeah. We just drew a spell off of this. That he got at least a fiery temper. Can we? He may just kill him here. Huh? Yeah. Ooh, oh. Oh, and he I gets the he's pitch. Very dead. Yeah, he gets the pitch here. You get four energy. Put thing in the ice to the last counter. So we're at twelve yeah, energy. And it's a fiery three, temper, six, so he has to cast that for free. Seven, eight, nine, plus seven. Or yeah, seven, eight, nine, plus so seven. We're three one down point to off. Oh no, we're yeah, we're one gets point four off. Four energy to sixteen. Oh, we cast six. Oh, okay. Nine. Well, we, we can't utilize enough energy on the Dynamo Towers. Is that to tap? They do have to tap. So it'll yep. be one of those things that we. And his next turn, it should yeah. be a game. Yeah. Hit him with the Fiery Temper, put him to 14. Flip the thing in the ice, put him to 7. Not to mention, he still got to draw off the Cathartic, so he'll still yeah. have more cards in hand. True. Uh, I don't know what we're looking like Fiery Temper wise. I don't know if we've played a land already this turn. If we have, then we can't get off any future tempers. If we have not, then we might be able to kill them. This one's basically all in the books, I would say. Uh, just a matter of whether it's this turn or the next. Yeah. Mitch could go... I don't think there's just anything we can do at this point. No, no, nothing. There's no way to draw... Even a Linvala gaining life and making the thing is just not going to do it. No, because it's... Yep, it so he's at a virtual... exactly six. Yeah, he's at a virtual one here, and there's not a card in maybe all of that. Linvala puts him to exactly six, and the Dynamo Tower still kill him anyway. Yeah, he needs upheaval here, I think. And that card is... Yeah, well, he finds Linvala, potentially the best card in his deck in this spot. Still yeah. not good enough for him. No. Looks like he takes the Limbala. Just gonna cast it. Go out swinging. Yep. We're gonna get yeah, a 3 3. Nicholas will show him the Dynavolts and the Fiery Temper, and that should probably be the game. Just the Dynavolts alone is yeah, a lone game. Yeah, the Dynavolts alone. Uh, we do get the 3 3, so we at least have both of the jump blockers, but we, we needed to fragmentize to deal with one of the towers. Yeah, I think Nicholas's deck would be, you know, reasonably positioned against the, the other creature decks in the format, but going up against uh, Nicholas's borderline creatureless burn deck, uh, it's going to be yeah. We have a few going, creatures, but yeah, even his sideboard, uh, you know, there's almost no no good uh, answers to any of this. No, the fragmentizers are great, the negates are great, but we need to have them at the right times. Yeah, not having cards at the correct time is what's hurting us the most right now. All right, so temper and good game there. Temper. Yeah, Nicholas' gives deck us is pretty three awesome. ways to kill our opponent. If temper gets countered, we go sure. Add five energy, tap tower, kill you. Yeah, so congratulations to Nicholas going up to one and zero on the day. And uh, now, it seems wanna, like he's pretty proficient with his. Uh, do we want to get him in the booth? Mm, maybe wait till later on to get these guys in the booth. Maybe the round is getting close to. Yeah, I'm checking yeah, we'll out see uh, how many rounds, how many players. We didn't actually get that stat at the beginning, did we? No, I don't think we did. Well, we saw the list and I didn't take count of the number. I know True. it went on the second page. But. Yeah, it went on the second page. I want to say upwards of 80, so maybe like 160-ish players. So probably seven rounds, maybe eight? Maybe. Okay.
All right, we're gonna get him in the booth quick, talk about the deck. People of Kaladesh, whether you hail from distant fields or green belt towns or from our great city centers, this is your time. The Kaladesh Inventors Fair invites you, our best and brightest, to share your ingenuity with the world. As an official entrant, you may fuel your creativity with unrestricted ether access. Demonstrate that you can channel the ether into bold new creations. Showcase your ideas, your inventions, your genius. In this time when anything is buildable, you can invent your tomorrow 